Hi, my name is Lee. I work with McBain Solutions. I'm actually the owner, operator, founder. Um, and uh, EM client I would rate as a four out of five. Prior to EM client, I'd been using a multiple set of versions of Outlook. Um, had also tried Thunderbird and a number of other applications and found that EM client better addressed my requirements and had greater flexibility with the various email servers I was using. So after reviewing a number of different platforms, I found that EM client offered an interface that was relatively straightforward and easy to use, a little bit more in line with um, Outlook, uh, at least earlier to mid versions of Outlook, somewhere in the 2010 to 2016 sort of range and that had more applicability to easy transition for the end users that I deployed it with. Uh, the service itself also worked very well in terms of being able to integrate with both uh, Gmail as well as exchange-based server platforms. So it made it a, a better platform of choice than pretty much anything else I could find. EM Client itself was a relatively easy installation. Uh, the platform as you're working your way through the guidance and, and the wizard to get started was fairly straightforward. Uh, the, the help information available in the platform is easy to use as well. Um, and I also found that deployment with the end user was fairly straightforward because most people were at least familiar with even if they didn't use Outlook as their primary platform. And I found this to be the best alternative choice for that. So as far as recommendations for anybody considering EM Client as an acquisition or, or an application alternative to Outlook, Thunderbird, etc., as if you have need for more than two email addresses, I would recommend um, moving forward with the paid version. Um, it will only allow you two in the free version. Outside of that, there aren't a ton of differences. There are some, a couple of very minor security updates that you do get with the paid version that help with um, tra uh, limiting tracking uh components that are that might be in emails that get sent to you outside of that um, I would also recommend that you take advantage of the uh, feature to allow you to back up your files uh, it will do a complete backup of all of your email files um, particularly handy if you're using offline folders um, in addition to that I would recommend that you take a look at the scheduler because uh, the EM client uses the Windows scheduler to actually handle the overnight backup, etc. So you you initiate the backup application inside EM client, and then if you need to manipulate the time of day that it occurs, you need to get into Windows scheduler. Outside of that, the help uh, in the application is reasonably good, and I've had pretty good success with emailing EM client and receiving additional support from them uh, as infrequently as it's been needed. I have reached out a couple of times. I hope that helps.